Let's discuss essentially a dose response uh, relationship between altitude and your physiological function as it relates to exercise. So I'm going to be giving some thresholds here so we can all kind of talk about the same thing and have similar definitions. So at sea level we'll say that's anything less than 500 meters or 1,640 feet. So I'll just list the meters going forward. Um, so at sea level, no effect of the altitude on physiological function at rest or exercise. This is our, our baseline control situation. At low levels of altitude, so we'll call this 500 to 2,000 meters of elevation, you're going to have minor performance decrements. And um, this is mostly going to be something that you can overcome with acclimation to that level of altitude. So you, you should be able to fully achieve your sea level performance at this level of altitude if you acclimate entirely. Um, at moderate levels of altitude, so we'll call this 2,000 to 3,000 meters, there are now going to be some effects when you're resting. So just kind of going about normal daily activities is really what we mean here. All right, so there's going to be a moderate decrease in your exercise performance, and you're going to be able to get back most of that exercise performance with acclimation to the altitude. Um, although uh, you might not get it all back, but you should be able to get most of it back. At high levels of altitude, so we'll call this 3,000 to 5,500 meters. Now is when you're going to start to see things like acute mountain sickness. You're going to have large decreases in ex exercise performance. And your acclimation um, after weeks of being at altitude is only going to do so much. You're still going to be exercising and performing at a lower level than what you could at sea level. And then extreme altitudes, um, that we'll call that anything over 5,500 meters. So we're talking about uh, high mountains like Mount Everest. Uh, in those situations, severe hypo hypoxic effects, um, definitely the chance of deadly effects and severe decreases in performance should be expected. Um, for this series of videos I'm making on altitude, let's just define altitude, if I just say altitude, as anything that is greater than 1,500 meters. So essentially gets us into this high, low range or you know into the moderate range, close to that moderate range at least. All right, so we should be seeing some effects on exercise, maybe not so much rest, but some effects on exercise once we hit that threshold which is the primary uh, purpose of these videos here is to talk about what's happening during exercise when you're exercising at altitude.